who are you? Episode 7 Good morning, Inga. Good morning. You don't look yourself today? Mornings are hard when you didn't get any sleep. What? What do you mean? You had an overnight guest yesterday. You both must have stayed up late. You're pale, and your eyes are puffy. Of course, you're young, but you need to care for your health. You're an amazing woman, Auntie Klava. You notice everything. I care for your health if I were you. Do you know why? Because good sleep is much more important in your age than in mine. Yes. Bitch. Oh. You could have warned me. I'd buy a cake. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting when you'll stop acting a fool, Inga. And tell me what is going on. Oleg, I don't understand what you mean. What is happening? Where? Stop for now. I appreciate your acting talents. I'm very interested in one monologue performed by you. What is going on in your life? The door is there. No need to close it. Aha. Uh -huh. You're smart. You know what is going on. People start dying as soon as you appear. Your patients, your friends, your admirers, your enemies, like that cripple. Your fiancé. Where is your Jerry now? You came back because of it, right? You studied at the FBI and started working at the police to find out what had happened to him. Why are you silent? Why are you silent? Come on, tell me. I can help you. We'll find him faster together. I mean, his grave. So, what do we got? Regular calls from an unknown number. Distorted voice. He has been stalking you at least from the beginning of the last year. And if, sorry, your fiance is on his record. Much longer then. Why did he start acting only now? I suppose that me coming home could be a stress. I came back after many years of absence and with Jerry as my official fiancé. The subject could perceive it as an insult of his feelings. 
and dare to take radical measures. Come into my life. I agree, this is not enough to create the full profile. But now he will call more often because he already made direct contact with the object. Did you hear yourself? What? You're being stalked by a psychopath and a serial killer, and you object, subject. That's it. We'll work together from now on. Analysis alone is not enough. We need to act. Oleg, you don't need to get involved. This is my personal business. I'll give this crap to the experts tomorrow morning. Maybe we'll get lucky, and they'll find something. In the morning, the guys will check your phone too. Thank you. Anytime. Thanks for making me tell you about it. I feel better now. I've told you I had a good year. I just couldn't reach my psychologist. Lock the door. Yes, sure. Good night. More like, good morning. Beautiful, beautiful. You're beautiful too. Just shaggy. Well, sit here. I'll take this to the lab and come back. Got it? I came by for a minute. I'll go back to the hospital right after. Lara fell asleep. The doctor said that she'll wake up in an hour. Everything's good otherwise. The drugs are out of her system. They say she shouldn't be addicted. Good. Great, even you could just call. Why go here? Misha, thanks for saving Lara. Thank me for what? For saving my own daughter. Yeah, you and your blurts, Marina, fine. It's time for me to go. Go to her. What if she wakes up and there is nobody by her side? It's not good. Wait. Misha, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's all my fault. I was thinking only about myself and completely didn't pay attention to Lara. Stop it. Why now? Calm down. Go to her. She needs your support now. She asks whether her dad will come soon when she wakes up. Tell her. I'll come by soon. Good morning, Andri. Good morning to you too, my dear. Tell me about that case you took from the locals, buddy, with the drowned woman in the car. The head of the investigations reported it to me. And our criminalists worked in Yakovlova's house. What kind of initiative is that? Andri, it concerns Inga. Tell me about it, I'm all ears. Good morning, Captain, sir. Writing another paper for your handlers in the internal affairs. Out of habit. Or do you just like it? 
What? Did you think that you helped Stepanik once, and that's all? No. Sunshine and unicorns, yeah. Good morning, everyone. Why are you staring at me like snakes in front of a rabbit? Listen, Sergi, if you're talking about his report, Lieutenant and I have discussed and closed this topic. I hold no grudges against him. To tell you the truth, he had reasons to file that report. As for his conscience, let him draw conclusions on his own. He is a smart guy, so stop punishing him for me. Congratulations, gentlemen. We're getting back into big politics again. A young up-and-coming politician and a fiery fighter against corruption Yeager Shannon has just been killed in his apartment. Great things await. And a big headache from the comrades of the fallen Figer. She'll fly to America today. Andri, it will be a mistake. You see that this is a psycho. He gets agitated when she is here. Exactly. That's why she has no business being here. If she leaves, you will stalk her there. And we won't be able to help her there. Fine. That's why we're opening a case because of an attempt on our freelance consultant. Add Yakovlova's case to the materials. Thanks to that crap we found at her home, we'll receive a warrant to wire Inga up. As a victim of an attempt in stalking, you look for Yakovlova's accomplice and her murder. Yes, sir. Can I go? You can. One moment. Right. Yeah, good morning, General, sir. How can I? There you go. You're a girl. Looks much better this way. It's good that you're here. You'll go to the repair shop. I'll send you the address. Leave your car with them. Don't say anything to anybody. They are waiting for you. Just introduce yourself. What's at that repair shop? The repair shop will check your car for bugs and gizmos that your admirer could have left. What if they find something? Then what? If they do, they'll leave it in place. But we'll understand what he knows. Yes. Yeah, we're on our way. We have a call. It's none of your business. What do you mean? It's none of your business, literally. You're going to the repair shop, and we're going to the call. Show them your phone too. It's the same as the car. If they'll find something, they'll leave it in place. General Strizik fully agrees with me. What do you mean? Did you tell the general everything? Who gave you the right to tell him anything without consulting with me first? This is my private life after all. This is not your private life anymore. Great. Brilliant. I can see that your major has been not himself recently. Is it because of her? Hello, Inga. Will you go by your car, as always? Do you know where to go? Give me the address, please. Thank you. Yeah, and FNG and the team is always trouble for the brass. That's it, be quiet. Yeah. 
Guys, have a look around before the journalists arrive. Sasha, let's go. Yeah, fighters with corruption do well for themselves. You can see that it's profitable. God, I hate this. Good morning. Yeah, quite a morning, huh? Two gunshot wounds the hip and the head. The femoral vein is punctured in the leg. Approximate time of death is 15 to 18 hours ago. I'll tell you. I know, you'll tell us after the autopsy. a boy. The gun. 38 caliber is a rough guess. A Makarov was lying alongside. I think it was the... But ask the ballistics that... One to the head to make sure, right? Possibly. It was a short-range shot. But that's all for now. Aha. Uh -huh. Sasha, what do you got? An empty safe. Could it be a robbery? Owner was forced to open it. Robbers don't do wet work. Besides, the owner wasn't an ordinary guy. Not at all. Okay, keep working. I need to go to the attorney. I beg your pardon. Yes. Um, who found the body? The body? The housemaid, Irina Tishko. Irina Tishko. Thanks. Tishko. 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 Great. Check the boot too. This one is clean for emergency calls. Enter anyone you need into the speed dial. Oh, and we installed a GPS tracker just in case. Just talk as you usually do. Just watch what you can say and what you can't. Yeah, I got it. You need some practice. It's not as easy as you think. Even the word order? Yeah, even the change of the usual word order may blow the agent's cover in these cases. Yes, really, I got it. Thank you. I'll take my car back tonight, and I expect a clean call for you before that. You said that you came in as usual. At 9 a.m. Did you notice anything unusual in or around the house? Well, the gate and the door weren't locked. They were just tightly closed. Otherwise, there was nothing unusual. Didn't that concern you? Of course, it did. Shannon wouldn't let that slip. He was a very meticulous person. How long have you been working for him? For about half a year. Do you think he had enemies? Who do you mean by enemies? He was a politician. I think he had quite a lot of ill-wishers. But to kill him, I don't know. What did he keep in the safe? Money, documents? Maybe money or documents, but I don't know for sure, you understand. Did he keep his gun in the safe too? I saw him once putting his suitcase in the office, and the gun was lying on the table. I don't know where exactly he kept it. Is this the gun? It looks like it, but I am bad at weapons. Come in. Hello? Hello. What do we have here? Nothing good. Two GSWs, one to the head. What else? The door and the gate were open. No signs of burglary. He lived alone. The body was found by a housekeeper. Witnesses. Hell if I know, maybe we'll find them. We checked the neighbors. First one is on vacation and the second one is renovating. I see. Let's go and see our anti-corruption activists' lifestyle. Did you find anything? I did, but not a lot. The guy is not very convincing. A local drunk. He hangs around a lot here. The smell is weird. Lemony and bitter. No? 
The criminal has surprised us. They say there are no fingerprints. And the gun. There aren't a lot of fingerprints in the whole house. So what? We found out that he lived alone, didn't have many guests, and cleaned well often. So, it's no wonder that there aren't a lot of fingerprints in the house. Yes, but there are spaces here with no prints of the owner at all. However, they should have been there, like here. They are on the lock and on the door of the wardrobe. Where's the major? He's on the terrace with the housekeeper. There, yes. Sasho, you went through everything here. Please show me the bathroom. Sure. When did you last see Shannon alive? Yesterday, around 5.30 p.m. Aha. Uh -huh. He called you, right? Yes, he called me and told me to come and clean up once again. Didn't you clean up in the morning? Of course, I did. But he called and said that I had to do an urgent cleaning again. Ha. Huh. And what happened? Nothing happened, I think. But Jaeger was obsessed with cleanness. He didn't even invite people home. But as far as I know, he had guests yesterday, unexpected ones. That's why he called and told me to come. Wow. What a battery. Any broad stream, right? A metrosexual. Oh. Did they litter it there or something? Did they make a mess? No, there was no mess. Everything as usual. I came and cleaned up in an hour. Are you sure you left at half past five? Absolutely. I looked at the clock on the wall in the hall when I was leaving. Usually I walk home, I live nearby. But yesterday I wasn't going home, so I had to call a taxi. Interesting. We have a witness who says that you arrived at half past five or a bit later, passed through the yard of the neighboring high rise, crossed the street, and entered the gate. Is this the way you got here? He also said you were in a big hurry. Wow. It looks like a museum. It's almost sterile. Inga. Is there a mania like this? Yes, but it's not a mania, it's a phobia. Excuse me, is there something like a pantry here? Yes, go along the corridor and turn right. Thank you. It means your witness is confusing something. Because I know exactly when I came and when I left. We'll check it. And when did you come? If Jaeger called around four, that means it took me about 10 minutes to get ready. So I was here at around half past four. I cleaned up in an hour and I left at half past five. By the way, I have the text that the taxi has arrived and I could come out. 528. Okay, we'll check it. Ha. Quartz antibacterial emitters. Lamps like those are usually used in hospitals to disinfect the air. Irina, tell me, did you notice? Why Shannon in a bad mood? He was amped up. After the conversation. With whom? When I came, I was cleaning the pantry, and he went out into the hall. He was talking on the phone with some Sergi, I think. Don't you try to scare me. Scare the grannies on the block. Got it. Yes, I'm worked up. Don't you even dare come here, or I'll bathe you in glory to the brim. That's right. I'll arrange a show with press and the cops. Just how you like it. Go to hell, Sergi.
Sergi. Do you know who could it be? No, there is no Sergi in his inner circle, and I don't know anybody else. Well, I don't know anybody at all. I come here only in the mornings. I didn't see anybody, except Ilya Trevoni, his lawyer, because he drafted my work contract. I see. Fine, Irina. Thanks a lot. Walk around the house with the captain now, check if anything disappeared or maybe some things are in the wrong places. Misha. And exchange contacts. What? Take your phone number. Fine. We'll go through Shannon's contacts. He argued with some Sergi over the phone. The housekeeper said so. Major, sir, may I address you? Fire away. I was wrong in the Captain Tarantive's case. But I ask you to let me stay in the unit. Sashko, for the future, we don't need Conflicts in the unit. Got it. Come on. I can feel it. Coming in the air tonight. Why aren't you answering the phone? Pasha. Okay, Pasha, look. I need everything on one arena. Tishko. Born around What is that? Cigarette ash or something. Looks like it. I'll tell you when I'll check it. So was he... Was he standing here smoking and dropping ash on the floor? I don't think that he was smoking. And he definitely wouldn't drop ash on the floor. What do we have then? The murderer was standing, smoking, and looking at... Shannon bleeding to death. I think that... He came up to Shannon. Crouched, put the cigarette out against the floor. Stood up and shot him in the head. Yeah, that's a cold-blooded bloke. Maybe it really was a hitman. By the way, we didn't find the butt. Of course. He took it with him. Yes, you're right. It's an exceptionally cold-blooded and cruel subject. Right now, before your eyes, the coroners are taking away the body of the murdered Yeager Shannon, a young up-and-coming politician with prospects, well known for his constant fight with corruption, was shot in his own house. At the moment, the homicide desk of the police directorate is working at the crime scene. We're waiting for their comments. But we found out from our own sources that Shannon was shot multiple times and the kill shot was to his head. Oh, thank you. Anything else? No, that's it. Thank you. Tell Ms. Shanko to go to my office as soon as he arrives. Fine. What happened? God, it must be Major Mischenko's dog. 
if she has a habit of running around the office. I'll leave the tray and take her away now. No, there's no need, Svetlana. Let her run. Major missing goes. A real police dog, a real hooch. A nano version. Are you gonna watch this crap with me? The owner will introduce us as soon as he comes. Huh? Oh. Our police aren't in a hurry to share the details of Jaeger Shannon's murder with us. This is the shortest way. I always take it. Did you do the car? Yes. Sergi, did you find anything interesting? Well, look, I think our guy was freaking out yesterday. Here's the cognac and the sedatives. Inga, as far as I know, they don't go well together, do they? To put it mildly, but maybe he only went for one of those. In any case, autopsy will show it. But Captain's right. If he used both alcohol and psychotropics at home, it means he wasn't fine. The housekeeper thinks that he had some unwanted guests yesterday. He called her in for overtime cleaning. Jaeger, this is Ilya. Pick the phone up. What's with your cell? I haven't been able to reach you for two hours. Are you home? So, I got a call from Berezan in the morning. They said that your old friend has already arrived before his term. You need to know about it. I'm in London now. And my schedule is too tight, so we won't be able to talk. I'll fly in tomorrow morning and call you. That's it, bye. See you. Wait. Look. Did you stand up Mila again? She's furious. You're an adult man, but you behave like a boy. It's good that she's a smart woman. I suggest you call her immediately and apologize. Or better yet, buy her something nice and come to her in person. And don't test her patience. That's all. Talk to you soon. Listen, maybe that Mila gave it to him. Look how interesting it gets. Shannon's lawyer in London is worried about him. Sergi, come on, find out his flight number, meet him at the airport and bring him to the directorate at once. Aha. Now, we need to find out who Mila is. Mila Lojanova, Shannon's classmate, and his wife. If they don't live together anymore, it means she is his ex. And it looks like we're not the only ones interested in her. And that somebody is from her student life. An old friend has arrived ahead of time. Listen, maybe let's have some coffee tonight. I can't. I'm going to the pool. Guys, they are coming. And we're off. Tell us, was it a hired hit? Is it true that Shannon was finished off with a shot to the head? Tell us, please. People have a right to know what's going on. Can I ask you one more question, please? What does an FBI expert think about the murder? It would be wrong to draw hasty conclusions in such a serious and resonant case. We understand that you want to know the truth. As soon as we get exact facts, we'll definitely tell you about it. Our police aren't in a hurry to share the details of Jaeger Shannon's murder. Unfortunately, it was to be expected. Let's hope that the public will be informed about the course of the investigation in the nearest future. This is what a new employee of the homicide desk of the Capitol Police who had just recently undergone training at the FBI Academy told us. Right now, before your eyes, the coroners are taking away the body of the murdered Jaeger Shannon. Good afternoon, Igor. Look, Andri, we don't need hired political hits. They will tear the entire force to pieces, starting from you. Your people need to work hard and dig into that Shannon's shady dealings. It would be ideal if it happened to be a domestic crime. You know, a crime of passion and all that. I got it. We'll take it into account. Listen, is it your niece? Performing for the cameras. Yes, sir. 
She's good. She didn't say anything and cooled them down. Listen, maybe we'll let her lead the briefing when we decide what to feed the press. It's a bad idea, Igor. She has worked at the police for two seconds. She can blurt out something bad. Fine. I'll think about it. There he goes. No way will I allow my own niece to be torn to pieces. Thanks for understanding. Come on, Inga. Give something for an old friend. I don't recall you being my friend. And by the way, I didn't know you specialized on crime reporting. And I'm not. I specialize on you. You know, something interesting is always going on around you. I won't say that I'm touched. I have to go. Inga, we have to be friends. What do we have here? A very clingy pinch shark. Oh, here's the defender. Inga, you have a talent to get knights. People get fish, mister. Radashni, and your wording is quite poor for a journalist. Excuse us. Let's go, Captain. You talk good game, Inga, but you have nothing essential to say. Here, this is my house. This is my entrance. The apartment is on the seventh floor. Will you come in? Oh, this camera. Do you know if this camera works? I have no idea. That's fine. We'll find out. So what, Irina? Done showing off. I told you not to be so mean. If you weren't so greedy to give me money for a quart, maybe I wouldn't notice you yesterday. I don't know who you saw yesterday, but it definitely wasn't me. It definitely was you. Tatiana booted me out to buy bread in the store. It was before six. I came out, and you were... just crossing the road. In your usual... green dress. I called her over. I wanted to ask her to give me some money for beer, but no? We're so fancy. She didn't even look back, just went to her MP's gate in her heels. And disappeared. What are you talking about? It wasn't like this, Captain, sir. We'll find out. Irina, let's go to the directorate. Just as we planned, you know what, Talia, let's go with us right away. You need to sign your testimony anyway. Griff Crimes Unit, Senior Lieutenant Taran. You got a match? Who? Uh -huh. Yup. In 97, right. Got it. I'll come by for the full report soon. Thanks for the speed. Goodbye. The latch is easy to open. Oleg, I was thinking, what is it with Berezan? I'll call you back. What is it? The lawyer said that he got a call from Berezan. A dear friend had arrived, but ahead of time. And, and, is it difficult to get here from Berezan? It's a two-hour trip on a commuter train. Go whenever you like. There's a medium security prison in Berezan. Exactly. What if somebody was going to be released from there? Came a bit earlier, for example, was proled. Huh, how do you like this surprise for Shannon? It's great. Find out who was released from there during the last two or three days. Already on it. Grigori, hello. Good afternoon, Sasha. One moment. One moment. Here you go. Can you give a brief summary? The shot was made from the Makarov that was found near the body. The gun is clean. It was registered in Shannon's name two years ago. There, about the fingerprints. About the fingerprints, we found some fingerprints of Shannon and his housekeeper at the house. Also, there are no fingerprints on the gun, 
They must have been wiped. As for the safe, you already know. By the way, it's the first time I see such a sterile space. Anything else? Door handles. They were thoroughly wiped. There aren't even Shannon's fingerprints on them. There is no stranger DNA on Shannon's body. There are his fingerprints and DNA of the glass with cognac. That is all. And what about the ashes on his office is for? I beg your pardon. Yes, yes, here. Ashes from a cigarillo. You know, it's a very thin cigar. The tobacco is of high quality, it's not cheap. Judging from the quantity of the ashes, the murderer smoked one. There is no but. That is definitely all. Thanks. You're welcome, you're welcome, Sasha. Anytime. Good luck. Okay. Just a bit more, okay. The courier brought it when you were on call. What is it? I have no idea. The stamps are from America. No return address. Do you have the courier's number? Yes, here. Thanks, Sergeant. There is a stranger's fingerprint in Shannon safe. We have checked it through the database. It belongs to Sergi Zelestuk, born 1982. In 97, he was given suspended sentence on vandalism charges as a minor. What is he up to now? Now he is an active fighter with corruption. And recently, Yeager Shannon is hindering his struggle. I mean, he's not hindering anymore. I got it. Clean up your table, senior lieutenant. Yes, Major, sir. Thank you.